Well, this quarantine has all of us trying to stay busy, and that includes Big Frida. We caught up with Frida to learn about a really cool event series taking place at City Park called Garden Cookout with Big Frida. There's actually one taking place tonight. All right, Frida, you said that you've been cooking in quarantine, and now you're taking it to the public. We're so excited to be part of this. Tell me all about it. So we are doing cooking in the garden with Big Frida at um, Botanical Garden at City Park. I'm excited about this because it gets a chance for my fans to get to come and see me. They also get to come and taste my cooking. And it's an experience like no other. Um, we started it on last week, and it was a fabulous first week. All, like, the first four weeks are sold out. So we're super excited about this, and it's a great thing for my brand. It's a, a new thing for my brand. So it's given me an opportunity to do something besides rapping and traveling. And I have a chance to really connect with my fans here in New Orleans. Yeah. And I know because I've interviewed you so many times over the years that you genuinely like to cook. This is not something you just picked up. Oh, no, I love to cook. I've been cooking for years. So it's not nothing new that I just, you know, the, the taking it out to the public is new. But I've been doing this for my family for years, and they love it. They're here every week trying to see what I'm cooking. <laughs> you know what I mean? I have had some of your food. I believe I had the booty popping potatoes. Yes, you have. Yes, they yes. Delicious. Where hey. are you getting the recipes from? Who's your I'm, I'm, I'm coming up with the recipes straight out the dome. I, I, you know, a lot of it is stuff that my mom taught me, and I'm creating new recipes on my own and, and coming up with new catchy um, things to cook for my fans. Nice. Well, I was just texting my friends that we have to come to City Park for one of these. You're doing them all through the month of July, so kind of give us more details. If you arrive in the night, I understand that there's like a cocktail hour, and then you yeah, so it's from seven to eight the cocktail hour. The broadcast starts from eight to nine, and it's the actual. You know, I'm actually putting my own show together. So from eight to nine is the live broadcast where I demonstrate um, whatever meal that I'm cooking. I will demonstrate a portion of that. We also will serve the fans, and everybody gets to taste it. I also have a few um, guests on my panel that sits with me, and I'm gonna invite you to come one week and sit with me. Yeah. And so I'm having different people. I've had already Hot Sizzle. I'm having Kermit Ruffin. I'm gonna have you. I'm gonna have you know maybe Eric. I'm gonna have a lot of different people that's gonna come through and represent for New Orleans, and you know really get the taste the flavor of New Orleans. Very nice. What did you cook last week? So last week we cooked, um, I did bell peppers, mac and cheese with mm. sweet peas. I had potato salad and fried shrimp as an appetizer. And we had brownie alamos for dessert. And this week we're going to have, um, we're going to have peach cobbler as the dessert. We're having stuffed chicken breast with spinach, cream spinach, Ooh. mashed potatoes, mm. and bacon wrapped asparagus and Caesar salad. Oh, it, the food sounds amazing, but I know that people just love you and your energy. What reaction are you getting from the people there? Because they're coming for the food, but they're also coming for Frida. Oh, yeah, they're loving it. They, they, it's a chance to also hang out with me, like I said. It's a chance to hang out with me, and we really interact with the fans. I go to everybody's table. I take pictures. You know, they come and they, they support my merch. So it was really well last week, and I'm I'm excited about this week to see the new audience and, and, and the energy that they're bringing. Nice. And if you can't make it out to one of these, you do cook on Instagram. Tell us more about how people can watch there. Yeah, so I usually do uh, What You're Cooking Wednesday, which I, I'm, I moved to What You're Cooking Wednesday to Thursday at City Park. And I'm also probably thinking of moving the Gospel Brunch to City Park. They proposed that this week as well. So we may be moving the Gospel Brunch as well. So usually it will, it will be Wednesday and Sunday online. Nice. All right, well, I can't let you go without asking you about music. What's going on with music these days? Oh, well, you know me. I'm steady recording on my on my downtime. Got to keep on making music for the fans out there. Um, working on my new EP. Also working on my Christmas new EP. Yeah. And Working on a kids' bop EP. I have a lot going on, girl. How fun! Yeah, something just for the kids. I want to see the kids bopping to Frida. That is gonna yeah. be great. Always have amazing stuff going on. You always make time for us here at WWL and show so much love to the city. We appreciate you, and it's so good to see you. Always, and I, I appreciate all the love and support from you guys. All right, thanks, Frida. Thank you. See you later. 
Well, this sounds like so much fun. Garden Cookout with Big Frida is taking place at the New Orleans Botanical Garden in City Park. There's one tonight at 7 o'clock. For more on the event, you can visit WWLTV.com and look for links on 4.